For centuries, explorers and archaeologists have undertaken long expeditions to Central America in the hope of stumbling upon the remains of ancient Maya settlements. Often, these sprawling cities are scattered across the landscape, usually buried beneath dense vegetation and thick forests. Although some explorers have been successful in their endeavors and have discovered sites such as Palanque, many ancient settlements still remain lost in time due to the challenges of traversing the harsh terrain that is the Central American jungle. Today, thanks to technological advances made in non-invasive technologies such as light detection and ranging, often referred to as LIDAR, researchers can scan vast areas of land in search of buried cities. This is what led a young PhD student from the US to discover one of the largest Mayan cities ever found. On top of that, he did it from the comfort of his office. In this video, we take our own virtual expedition to southern Mexico to learn more about this fascinating discovery and exactly what the young scientist found. We'll try to better understand the mysterious Mayan civilization of ancient Mesoamerica and what really happened to this once great and expansive culture. During the primitive years of archaeology, the search for interesting sites was a painstaking process, especially because many of them were buried under sand, soil, or dense forests. Consequently, if explorers sought to uncover the ruins of ancient cities or settlements, they had to undertake long journeys to mysterious places and hope that the information they gathered would reward them with a new discovery. In the case of Mesoamerican archaeology, known as the homeland of cultures such as the Maya, Olmec and Aztec, many of the capitals of these cultures have been found deep in the jungles. So, as you can guess, the only way to get there is with the help of a team of local guides, multiple machetes to push your way into the wild jungle, and plenty of mosquito repellent. It cannot be denied that these overland expeditions eventually led to the discovery of many of the great tourist destinations that can be traveled to in southern Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize, among others. However, they were very time-consuming and required significant resources. This method of discovering ancient heritage remained the most common until the last decade of the 20th century. But then, a new chapter in archaeology opened. New technological advances began to emerge that would forever change the future of how ancient sites were discovered, such as the once lost Mayan city, now known as Valeriana. For the past few years, researchers have been using a non-invasive method known as LIDAR, which essentially scans the ground from above using lasers, allowing researchers to detect structures under all sorts of terrain, including dense forests. LIDAR works by emitting laser pulses from a plane or drone, and then measuring the time it takes for the pulses to reflect back, creating a detailed 3D map of the Earth. The working principle is similar to how bats get an image. This revolutionary method has led to the discovery of various archaeological sites that would otherwise have remained hidden including several huge cities in the Amazon jungle. Recently, however, it helped Tulane University graduate student Luke Old Thomas discover a lost Mayan city in southern Mexico. Old Thomas looks through dozens of pages of LIDAR data collected by a group of ecologists more than a decade ago. The latter have mapped the distribution of above-ground forest biomass in Mexico, hoping to understand how much carbon is stored in Mexico's many forests and how the gas is distributed. While ecologists were interested in what was above ground, Old Thomas suspected that the big study might also have great archaeological significance, and he turned out to be right. After comparing the data with other surveys conducted by NASA, he continued to explore the region, suspecting there might be something hidden beneath the lush green jungle that seemed to extend in all directions across southern Mexico. Soon he stumbles upon one particular block of exploration that seems to indicate a forest growing on top of a vast collection of ruins. Shortly thereafter, Old Thomas is surprised as he realizes that this is a lost Mayan city previously unknown to the archaeological community. The discovery shocked his colleagues, as the location of the structures is less than a 15-minute walk from a nearby highway in the Mexican state of Campeche, where many Maya relatives live today. The team has published its own research related to the findings, in which Old Thomas and his colleagues claim to have discovered three large sites, one of which is a huge city where about 50,000 people lived in the first millennium AD. The explorer's discoverers call the city Valeriana, after a large freshwater lagoon not far from the collection of ruins. In their report, 
they argue that the sites have all the characteristics of a typical Maya political capital, including huge enclosed plazas, tall pyramids, an iconic ball field, and a reservoir that were connected by roads. The area of the city is about 26 square kilometers, 10 square miles, or as much as that of Scotland's capital, Edinburgh. The city had two significant centers, which were distinguished by large buildings about a kilometer apart. There were two squares, each with a temple pyramid, where the ancient Maya performed their religious customs, including worship of their deities and veneration of the dead. However, researchers are only now beginning to explore this site and have so far identified over 6,700 buildings of various shapes and sizes. After carefully studying the architectural layout of the site, archaeologists suggest that it was founded before the second century AD. However, it would not reach its greatest flowering for another six centuries. Researchers say the newly discovered Valeriana is second in density of built structures only to Calakmul, considered the largest Maya site in ancient Latin America, which only speaks to the significance of this discovery. A find of this magnitude could hold various secrets about the Maya civilization and possibly contain inscriptions detailing their origins and how they came to such advanced knowledge of astronomy and mathematics. The mysteries of this site promise many more interesting discoveries in the future. Unfortunately, there are no close-up photographs to show the ruins, as according to the researchers, no modern humans have visited the site, further adding to the mystery surrounding it. However, it is believed that some locals knew of the existence of the large mounds in the region and suspected that the ruins may have been hidden beneath the soil. Small expeditions are likely to take place in the near future as researchers hope to see the extensive site with their own eyes and possibly even conduct excavations. However, according to Professor Elizabeth Graham of University College London, Valerina's discovery plays an important role in further suggesting that the Maya lived in large urbanized settlements as opposed to isolated villages during the heyday of their civilization. Researchers say the unique city was a true metropolis of its time. Valeriana can be compared to today's U.S. metropolises, where huge, densely populated urban centers are connected to a variety of smaller communities to form one large overall complex. The fact that Valerina was discovered remotely continues to amaze archaeologists around the world, while giving them hope and encouragement for future discoveries using methods such as LIDAR. The discovery of the city has also provided researchers with additional evidence to support a claim that has persisted in the archaeological community for some time, highlighting the idea that Central America was home to rich and sophisticated cultures that were able to mobilize large portions of their populations to build cities not much different from those of the classical world in Europe. But all good things must come to an end, and this is true even of the greatest civilizations. One question that continues to plague researchers and archaeologists is, what happened to the Maya? And why they decided to abandon their great cities throughout Mesoamerica? Leading theories suggest that their civilization collapsed around 800 AD, in part because their cities became too densely populated, coupled with climate problems. According to Old Thomas, their discovery says that the landscape was simply completely filled with people in the early drought conditions and had no flexibility left, and so perhaps the whole system has broken down, mainly due to the remoteness of humans. The researchers suggest that densely populated societies are more vulnerable to environmental changes that can have long-lasting effects on climate. Whatever the true demise of the Maya civilization, the scattered remains of their golden domain demonstrate the culture's great achievements and undoubtedly suggest that it was on a level comparable to the greatest cultures of Eurasia and Africa. As things stand, there are still many mysteries to be solved, and sites like Valerina could be the key to better understanding this ancient culture. But LIDAR technology has also led scientists to another mystery. In southern Mexico, a site has been located that has been considered the gateway to the underworld. Tunnels and ancient chambers exist beneath the Church of San Pablo, sealed by missionaries hundreds of years ago. Learn how modern archaeologists are uncovering these secrets and what lies beneath our feet by watching the video you see to the left.